solar eclipses are big at the moment, so let's talk about them. And in fact, let's talk about one, one which occurred on 15th of June, 763 BC in Assyria and led to a huge amount of discovery from a simple comment that was made by a scribe. Just to give a bit of background and context to all of this, eclipses can be predicted using mathematical models because they occur not randomly, but due to a number of events, as I said, that can be picked up using mathematical formula. You can do this going forward so you can predict when they're going to happen. As per, I think, this one, people knew about it before it was going to happen. But likewise, you can also work backwards and say, this is when some of them occurred and where they occurred. Now, there's a huge opportunity here, because if you can find an account of one that was mentioned and you can match it to a particular eclipse, you've got a day, even down to the minute of the day. So it went that there was a scribe in Assyria and forgive my pronunciation here, but his name was Bursagali. Now, Bursagali just made a simple comment. He made a footnote, well, sort of a footnote, that in the month of Samanu, an eclipse of the sun had taken place. But this was massive because people were able to match this, and they matched it to an eclipse which occurred on the 15th of June, 763 BC. The reason it was so important was because it allowed us to finally have a fixed year in the year of a reign of a king, because Bursagali was only in place for the 10th year of the reign of King Asher Dan III. What that meant was that 763 BC was year 10 of the reign of King Asher Dan III. We have lots of very good records detailing exactly how long kings reigned for and even events that took place in the specific year of a king. So all of a sudden, if you have 763 BC as year 10 of the reign of King Asher Dan III, you can just go crazy and start populating dates here, there and everywhere. And that's what happened. And in fact, this one comment enabled scholars, academics, experts to just go out there and just build a complete chronology of the Neo-Assyrian period. It was huge. It was an absolute breakthrough. And all of that from a little comment that a scribe had made. Thank you very much, Bursagali. And also to the Eclipse.